Racial segregation has historically depended not on the protection, but on the violation of property rights. Since at least 1940, one in five black Americans lived in the suburbs. Sometimes 100-year-old black communities in rural areas would be surrounded by popping up suburban developments. And then through lobbying, those communities would be condemned and taken for different kinds of quote unquote whites only infrastructure. In 1947, a neighborhood just outside of Miami called Railroad Shops Colored Edition, which had been built for African Americans in the late 19th century, was condemned through law enforcement basically showing up in people's doors during a rainstorm, knocking on the door, and throwing people out in the rain. The houses were bulldozed, some of them through ad hoc negotiations were picked up entirely and moved to a new black neighborhood, put on the back of a truck, basically. Um, and the neighborhood became whites only as a result of lobbying at the local level. The neighborhood of Cross Keys, just here in Baltimore, right off of Falls Road, um, once existed, now there's, I think, a spa there, and a golf course, and a few other things. East Towson, um, Baltimore County, experienced similar processes. The point of all of this is that you have to find a way to consistently get so-called market practices to line up with racial segregation. Right? There's always an attempt to reconcile these two because they're actually at odds. Tr a true free market allows the free passage of private property, the honoring of private property, the ability to buy and sell at will. But you need the state to constantly intervene to make sure that racial segregation is being preserved at various turns. The most fascinating thing about this is that the discourse of property rights that we see coming out of 1960s California from white suburbanites or 1970s Charlotte from white suburbanites actually begins with African Americans in the 1930s and 40s as they're asking for the right to access suburban spaces or have their own property at least preserved from the state coming and taking it and bulldozing it. 